This Saturday, Crime Stoppers of Central Indiana and AARP, Indiana's Fraud Watch Network, will host their semi-annual Community Shredding and Electronics Recycling Day. Wish TV a proud sponsor. Yes, so joining us now to talk more about the event, Steve Du Bois with Crime Stoppers, Jason Thompson of AARP Indiana. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Uh, shred Day, tell us how it works. It's pretty much a drive-through type thing. You pull up, we'll take the shredding out of your car, we'll take the electronics, you can drop off uh, pharmaceuticals, uh, and then you drive away. Uh, we do ask for a donation for the shredding. The rest of it's free. And, and why, why do this? You know, a lot of people have old papers and stuff. But why shred them? Why not just throw them away? The quickest and easiest way for somebody to get your information is it's written down somewhere. Uh, they don't have to breach a computer. They don't have to do anything electronically. They can walk into your house, take a file. If you accidentally put it in the garbage, we found them at thrift stores. Hmm. So make sure they're taken care of, they're shredded, and it's gone. Plus, with your electronics, think of all the personal information you have on your electronics, your yeah. phone. Yeah. Uh, I, I used to keep my kid's social security number on my m mobile phone. Not a good thing to do. Yeah. Oh. So make sure that stuff gets taken care of the right way. It's a good reminder. Jason, let's go through the items that we can take to drop off yeah. um, because as we've kind of touched on, it's not just paper. It's not just paper. Uh, obviously, from the paper side of things, anything that's got your personal information, mm -hmm. you'll want to bring that through. Uh, for the electronics, it's any old electronic. Uh, I there's a, going to be a donation, I think, or a payment of $10 for any kind of computer monitor or TV. Bigger yeah, items. bigger type items okay. that you can't get rid of. And then the, the pharmaceuticals, the expired uh, prescription drugs that uh, folks have in their medicine cabinet. This is a way to get rid of those uh, so that nobody can have access to those as well, mm -hmm. as well as the information that's on those labels uh, has your personal ah. information on it as well. So there's a whole other component about the fraud uh, aspect of it as well. So you bring that in and we can get rid of all those things. This is a, uh, a big event for raising money. Uh, and you're not asking a lot of money, five bucks for uh, a box of uh, shredding, but how important is the money and where does it go? All the money goes to Crime Stoppers and it is what funnels, we're probably one of the most efficient programs in the nation. We, our budget's about $80,000. Uh, most, bu most programs our size, it's about $350,000. Wow. So we spend the money well, it goes for our rewards, it goes for all the electronic uh, software and things that we need to keep everybody anonymous. Um, our tip line, all of that, that's what the money goes for. And this is one of our major fundraisers. So, uh, and speaking from personal experience being there before, this is quick. I mean, you get in that line and you have the paper out of your car and you are on your way. So it's really convenient too. Um, Jason, we want to talk about the locations yep. uh, that we put them up there on the screen for everyone uh, to take a look. We, the Wish TV team, will be at Creekside Middle School on Saturday, but there are other locations. Yeah, there's uh, one at 10th and Meridian downtown, uh, Lawrence Police uh, Station in Lawrence, the Speedway Police Station out in Speedway, and then on the south side, uh, Greenwood Park Mall. Explain to us the AARP Fraud Watch Network, how, how that works. Uh, the Fraud Watch Network is open to anybody. You don't have to be an AARP member. It's a, a place where you can go to get information that really uh, empowers you to protect your family and yourself from fraud and scams. Uh, you can sign up for watchdog alerts where uh, if there's some sort of scam that's happening in your area, you'll get notified. Uh, there's tips and information from folks that are uh, former fraudsters themselves uh, about what they went through and, uh, and how they rope people into these types mm -hmm. of scams. So uh, there's just a lot of information there to empower uh, folks. All right. We thank you both for joining us. And remember, again, that is this Saturday. We have a lot more information for you on Shred Day, including a list of locations on our website. Real simple. Just go to wishtv.com. And uh, Steve, before we let you go, we wanted to give you a little <laughs> shout out for a big honor you recently took home. Uh, Steve was awarded the Crime Stoppers USA Coordinator, Coordinator of the Year Service Award at the Crime Stoppers USA National Training Conference held last month. Uh, this is a big deal. Steve was selected from submissions across the country for his leadership and commitment to the community. Last year, Crime Stoppers of Central Indiana received more than seven thousand tips it led to more than 400 arrests that's right so anytime you think that your tip doesn't make a difference it makes a big difference and it's because of this guy right here so congratulations steve no thank you but it's a there's a whole big team behind all of that <laughs> yeah most most great people say that but uh yeah <laughs> congratulations because it is a really huge honor and we're lucky to have you here in central indiana thank you yeah.